A couple of summers ago, my wife and I took our honeymoon. One of our stops was Amsterdam, a city that we both quickly fell in love with. One of the best things we did there was take a canal tour where our tour guide showed us all kinds of amazing Amsterdam architecture. You see, Amsterdam is an open air museum to the 17th century. Its heritage, its culture is on display at all times. But it costs a lot of money to maintain those canals, to maintain the architecture, the brick facades, and the amazing things that Amsterdam has to offer. Our tour guide told us that in the 1980s, there was a lot of push to do away with these rules and to build things on a cheaper basis. One of the things that Amsterdam did was build a new combined city hall and opera house, demolishing a few important city blocks in order to do so. The building they built is fine, but it's something that you'd expect to see anywhere. Nothing about it lives up to the amazing architecture that surrounds it. Amsterdam did not end up going all in on this cultural movement. The laws stayed intact and the city's laughing as a result. In fact, the conversation in Amsterdam right now is, what can we do to stifle tourism when this pandemic is over? The industry is already worth upwards of 10 billion euros each year, supporting in the neighborhood of 90,000 jobs. They can't keep growing. There's simply not enough space for any more tourists to visit. And why do people flock there? Well, they flock there because it's a unique place. It knows what it is. Its heritage is amazing. Its history is remarkable. Now, it's hard to sell young people on being an open-air museum to the 17th century, but of course, Amsterdam has a great party scene. Once 18 and 19 year olds show up and party their faces off, they all wanna come back when they're 20, 30, 40, to experience more of what the city has to offer. The city of Amsterdam could have gone two ways in the 1980s. They could have abandoned their identity, sold it out to save money in the short term, forgetting its history, abandoning everything that makes it special. The Canadian Football League is currently at that same crossroads. Your move, CFL.